In this video, I'm going to explain how linking in BIM 360 works. Before jumping into the linking and seeing all the functionality, I would like to show you that some linking methods work with nested components and it's either attachment, which you can have nested components in the parent Revit, or you can do overlay links, which all the nests will not be visible. So you can just choose whether this method or the other method. And this can be chosen after you insert it through the manage links. If we go to the insert and if we go Revit links and we can navigate to the directory to the project that we have, BIM 360 tutorials, and from here I can go to the project files. And from here I can go to the architecture and I would like to show you something. I only see three projects here, three Revit files. But if I go to BIM 360, surprisingly, I will see more files, more Revit projects, TWG as well, but more Revit projects. So this means that some of those files are not visible through the linking. And you might be like, why? Why they are not available to link? They are all Revit files in the end. Is it like different version of the Revit? Is it, there are some kind of limitations on that? So the main point here is that when your file is a central file in the worksheet environment in the cloud in BIM 360, you can only link other BIM 360 central files. You cannot link other files. If they're normal central files, just upload it to the BIM 360 or normal projects or anything else, you will not be able to literally open or link them. So even if you just go to your, if I navigate back and if I go to the projects, I will only see four of the projects here because I was able to see the link three of them only because I was opening one of them. So I cannot link the same project that I'm in. So I can link only all the other projects as well. I was seeing only three of them. In reality, I can only access to the four of them because they are work shared cloud models. Very important. If you don't have the models as a work shared cloud model, then they're like normal Revit files uploaded directly, central files that are uploaded directly by just clicking upload or Revit LT there will not be available to be linked directly from link area. So this will be a limitation. But once you link a file, you come to, to do it, you come to the insert, you navigate to your Revit links again. One more time. I'm going to pull it here. And this time I'm going to just link one of the extra, I can link the structural model here. Maybe it's already linked um, in this project. This is the test project so it might be already linked before and i will be showing you also how to find the yeah, uh, how to find if it's already linked i think i would be able to also show you um how to get the overlay so, and the attachment from here so you can just go to navigate to manage links from the manage tab and then you can just choose overlay or attachment and if you do this obviously you will be able to nest it if you do overlay you will not be able to nest it and I can just show you the diagram again here showing that it allows nested components to be linked in the link models and the other does not allow depending on your workflow. But very important if you're having a work shared cloud central file, which you will see when you navigate to them as work shared cloud model. If they are not work shared cloud models, you will not be able to link them. That is the issue we are having with BIM 360. What you can do here is that you can use Autodesk Desktop Connector. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.